All right, so we're gonna graph another function. Um, this time we have a, a new format or new form of the line. So a function, function that's in the form y equals x minus h squared plus k um, it has a vertex of h k. So we can see that in here, whatever is being added or subtracted, the, the x is the x coordinate here. And then what's being added or subtracted outside of the kind of x coordinate or outside of the parentheses, that's the y coordinate. So we can see those two pieces. And we do want to pay attention, it's supposed to be minus in here and it's supposed to be plus out here. So that can change um, the, the coordinate based on what we're looking at here. So I see a, a plus here and it was supposed to be a minus. Well, the only way that happens is if it was a minus five, so it's minus minus five like that. So it became a plus because it was two negatives. So that tells me that the x coordinate was negative five and the y coordinate is just being added on the end, so it's plus one. So we have negative five, one. So it's negative five, positive one. So negative five, um, one, two, three, four, five, and positive one. So there we go, we have negative um, five, positive one. So that's our vertex. So now I can center the rest of these around the vertex. So I don't have to do any guessing, and I don't have to fill that out because I already know that coordinate. Um, you're welcome to fill that part out if you want to. So I have x plus five squared plus one plus five squared plus one. And I'm just filling out each one of these. I'm gonna to try to make it so I don't have to go back and forth quite so many times with the colors. So I'm gonna fill in the x on each one of these. So this is negative seven, negative six, negative four, and negative three. So now I can just leave it in the one color. So we're gonna do inside the parentheses first. So I have negative seven plus five, well that's negative two squared plus one. Well negative two squared is four plus one is five. And I can bring this negative seven over here as well. So here I'll fill that in. So negative seven, this one would be negative six, negative four, and negative three. So this is just the coordinates, just so that we can see them together. So now I have negative seven if I go five, six, seven. And I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. Um, and now I'm going to do the same thing with this next one. So I have negative six plus five, that's negative one squared plus one. So negative one squared is one plus one is two. So if I go to negative six, and I'm going to go up two, and I'm going to put a point there. So now I should see mirroring happening. We've done this on a couple other videos. If, if this is not a two for the next one, and then the last one is not a five, something went wrong with our math and we need to go back and check. We should be able to see that mirroring happening around that vertex point. So it should be literally going right back up the same, um, at the same rate on the other side of the vertex. So we're gonna go negative four plus five, well that's one squared plus one. Well one squared is one, one plus one is two. So yay, that worked. And then we have negative three plus five, well that's two squared plus one, two squared is four, and four plus one is five. So now we can go ahead and graph these last two, so I had four and two, and three, and five. So again, I should be able to see that mirroring across there. And then I'm just gonna do the best I can there for crossing. When you do this on Alex, you won't have to kind of guess on that one. You just click a button once you have your five points and it We'll drop it in there. Oh, I forgot to fill this in. We're gonna make a table centered around the vertex. So it's exactly what we did. I just forgot to fill in the word table. Um, so here we have our parabola in the form of y equals x minus h squared plus k. All right, so I hope that helped and I will see you in the next video.